Hello, and welcome to the Honest Trailer Commentary for Total Recall. This is the show where we'll talk about our thought process and our deeper, deeper insights into so deep. the 1990 film, yeah. uh, uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger film. If you stick around, uh, we're going to watch the trailer together, then you'll see some cut jokes afterwards. Uh, we'll respond to some viewer comments and questions, yeah. and we'll tease next week's Honest Trailer. Yeah, mm. it's a 1990 mm. film, but it feels very 80s. It does. A lot does. of it is very 80s. This might have been one of the last 80s movies. Like true 80s movies. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, this is Lon Harris, uh, Dan Merle. Um, unfortunately, uh, Daniel Radford isn't here today, and she did most of the work on this yeah. one. But uh, we'll, you know, she's not here, so we'll talk about it instead. If the studio well, hadn't caught fire, if the studio <laughs> hadn't caught fire, been here, but uh, it literally did. Yeah. Uh, uh, she would have been here on that day. We should yeah. stress, they just mean we would have been able to record this on the usual day. Not that Daniel was she injured. No. In the, for the way you <laughs> no, said no, that, yes, it was I'm like, sorry, I apologize. If we hadn't had that fire board right now, no. <laughs> she's, she's fine. Like, she's fine. We just had to push taping a day, which means. That she was not. Oh, uh, yes. uh, never, never a dull moment. <laughs> <laughs> Danielle's health. Yeah, yeah, no, she's doing well. Anyways, this movie. I was gonna swear this movie's good. <laughs> this movie I rips. Lo I love this movie. Yeah. This is a, this is like a long time favorite. I know when most people like are like, "What is the quintessential Arnold movie?" Mm. Uh, this is not, I don't think, the best one. But if you ever want to point to like what was Arnold Schwarzenegger at his peak, mm -hmm. good and bad. Yep, it's this movie. Yeah, like. The, just like he's not all g good, he's not all bad. He's like this is right in the middle of like the best and worst of Arnold Schwarzenegger. Yeah, it's something about the combination of his sensibility and Paul Verhoeven together yeah. is that's the magic of Total Recall. And something I don't think we managed to put in the trailer is how long um, Eraserhead. Come on, what's his name? David Lynch. David Lynch. No, not David Lynch. Oh, uh, Cronenberg. Cronenberg. Yeah, oh, sorry. He didn't do it. Sorry. Uh, uh, <laughs> Scanners. Yeah. And, um, yeah. How long uh, uh, Cronenberg was developing this, and how many things that aren't in the uh, the Philip K. Dick story made its way in that are so Cronenberg and yeah. add just like a weird, gross touch to this. Yeah. The mutants apparently are all that was a Cronenberg yeah. original concept, and wow, does that feel Cronenberg y. And, and I guess Arnold way. loved. This concept and wanted and like he had to buy it himself to get it developed and got to pick his director and everything because also the story stars like a mild mannered office worker who wants an escape yes. from his yeah. his desk job and but when you cast Arnold Schwarzenegger, you make him a give that guy a jackhammer. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's a, a jackhammer or a construction worker. Uh -huh. That's about the only two things that would be a realistic profession yeah. for Arnold Schwarzenegger in the future and in, the, if, in any time. Yeah, that, well, that brings us to an important point that I'm sure people we, we sort of mentioned in the trailer is like it's the future, but only the two things that we have that are super futuristic are interstellar travel. We can we can go to anywhere in the solar system. Yep. and we can mess around with your brain and then you give you memories or steal your memories. Otherwise, all technology is frozen yeah. in 1990. Tube well, television. I, yeah. I, I disagree because some things we're just taking for granted that they exist today, like automated cars. Sure. Or okay, yes, they also have robot, robot, but not self-driving cars. They still need the robot driver there. Right. Johnny Cab. Hmm. But like yeah. the TV. Step down yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But like everything else is just like, well, it just looks like today. Nothing changed. Yeah. True. <laughs> They have that wall that they eat breakfast in front of. That's a big TV. <laughs> right, Elon Musk has even that. like yeah. Sharon Stone's got her like hologram tennis instructor. That's we fit. It doesn't right. It's like you could. Look, it looks like a display you would see at Fry's. Yeah. It does not look like a hundred years from now. That's what our holograms would be like. I'll be disappointed if our holograms are like that in a hundred years. Yeah, but I would like to. I'd rather live in the '80s version of the future than today, the present. <laughs> yes, no, that's true. There's a lot of dystopian garbage that Verhoeven didn't predict. I mean, apparently the the subway that they take is just Mexico City's subway, which I guess looks wow futuristic. Like they didn't really do anything to it. It, it doesn't really look that futuristic. There's like, cool <laughs> CRT panel displays all over that subway it car. Basically, just looks it's got like angles. Subway. It's got cool it's, angles. Yeah, yeah. A modern that was really what the future was was angles. Oh, the future yeah. is angled. Th yeah. Things would be angled very differently <laughs> in the future. That, that was the one main. It's interest. 2019. Why are we not? All wearing shoulder pads. <laughs> I should, big, I, yeah, still big, big hair and shoulder pads and neon. And I do love this marriage, though, of just like Paul Verhoeven and his like scalp, scalpel like. Uh, 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 social, like, mm. you know, satire, and just Arnold Schwarzenegger, like, the biggest, just blunt object yeah. sledgehammer that yeah. you can throw at anything. No subtlety. Well, it's, we can discuss that. Let's, let's yeah. play the trailer because sure. that's the, the trailer, first thing yeah. we talk about. Yeah, yeah. Um. So I'm, I didn't work on this, full disclosure, so I'm going to do what <laughs> Arnold did in the actual commentary for Total Recall at the beginning, just narrate what's happening so you can see what it's like to watch the commentary for Total Recall. Yes. Ready? Thank you, Dan. Mm. 
Right, this is the part where the, <laughs> the comments come up and they say, uh, "Do Total Recall." Uh, this is the logo. He <laughs> directed the film. In the film where a robot cop shoots crooks in the that was uh, the movie with the robot. <laughs> yeah, the a good one. The beefcake troop kills aliens. Real ah. cool. And satirized sexism the aliens. in the movie where the strippers come their way to the One of my favorites. <laughs> my face was on the boobies. Satirized colonialism in the action play where right, the beefcake does some humping, then shoots the dicks off everyone on Mars. Total Recall. Pause. Right, pause. Uh, well, first of all, the good one. Um, did anyone see at this table the Colin Farrell one? I, I, I skipped have, it. I've seen no, it. I didn't know. I've didn't? seen it. It's uh, they. I, one thing I, I like that they do is that they changed a lot. It doesn't feel like they're just rote redoing the exact. Like they're taking a lot of inspiration from it. The other good thing that they did is Brian Cranston's perfect casting as Cohagen. Mm. Aces. But it doesn't really work as like an action sci-fi. Yeah, movie. I heard they they took out the mutants. They took yeah. out Richter. Yeah, um, it's very it's very different. It's it's political, but in a different like it's different pol kinds of politics. Yeah. so it's like the uh, Philip K. Dick story. So like. yeah, which takes us to yeah, I really I don't think I think there's the Philip K. Dick story that this Total Recall, and then they just went a different, hmm. even different way with it. It's also like Len Wiseman directed, oh. and I just you don't get the same. So it was blue. Yeah, it was very blue tinted. <laughs> you just don't get the same. You know, it's just not visually arresting in the yeah. way that the original mm -hmm. was. Like they were just so idiosyncratic and of itself, and it, they just made it like another. The visuals carry it around. Way. This is kind of the last movie. Not the last. I'm sure it's not the last. But it's like it really had a mix of practical and CG. Um, yeah. When they really couldn't rely on one or the other. Yeah. Uh, and I think that he plays it beautifully. But Paul Verhoeven, we call him the king of having his cake and eating it too, mm -hmm. which I think is both what I love about him and a appropriate critique, if you will, of his movies of like, he's he's almost insulting to his audience, which is something that I, you know, respect. But, <laughs> but, but he's like, he's like, you wanna see this, don't you? Like, you idiots, don't you think yeah. that, isn't this what you want? It, but I'm gonna heighten it to such an extent that I'm making fun of it. It is kind of, I mean, he's a European, so you're getting that, like, this is a European artist coming and reacting to suddenly working in America, mm. and that really, threads its way through all of the American movies is that they're all kind of on some level parodies of the United States of America, especially Showgirls. I mean, I feel like <laughs> Showgirls is really like, that's just him making fun of us for two hours. I, I like Showgirls a lot, but yeah. it's, it's so that's... over the top of its depiction of Americans like literally eating dog food. Mm -hmm. Right. You know, I think he, being thinks, simpletons. he thinks it's funny, but Elizabeth Berkeley thinks it's dead serious. Yeah. And, and Joe Esterhouse is like, you know, 10 eight balls deep and thinks it's the yeah. greatest thing well, on I mean, earth. And, and Gina Gershon knows exactly yes, what's going on. Right. <laughs> and I think it's, it, and I think it's all of his movies, or at least all of his American movies, have that tension. Because like Starship Troopers kind of has it too. Like, Denise Richards and Casper Van Dien aren't playing it funny. They're playing it very straight. And the source material plays it completely straight. Right, but he's kind of doing that like mm -hmm. it's Beverly Hills in he outer it, 90210 yeah. in outer yeah. space. Like he's got that sort of self aware yeah. sound to it. I love him. Yeah. I do too. Yeah. Good yeah. guy. Good guy. Uh, good guy. Good I mean, never, I don't know if he's a good guy. Know. I have no he idea. Might be but, a, uh, yeah, I'm yeah. sure he's weird. But, uh, <laughs> Oliver Hooven, good guy? Let yeah. us know. Yeah, let know. us know in the comments. Let us know in the comments. <laughs> Keep going. Strap in for a mind bending trip to the future that's going through a big 90s retro craze, apparently. <laughs> Barks. I love Barks. I miss Barks. Yeah. What do you Barks has bite? A real vacation. The robots took our germs. And going outside will kill you. <laughs> Great prosthetics. Hey, at least we're not paying for oxygen these days, right? Then we'd really know we were in a dystopia. <sighs> oh, well. Pause. That was on Shark Tank. Uh, this past uh, a couple weeks ago. <laughs> oh really? Uh, the uh, one of those exact ones oh, was God. on Shark Tank. Wow. They were there trying to. Uh, Does it get you high? It well, yeah. it, it, what, well, one of the reasons uh, the, the, the trouble wasn't on Shark Tank was that, that exact question was it was it was pitched for like uh, use for if you need it. But also, it's like, but at the same time, it is supposed to be like for clarity and focus. Do you remember there was like this exact fad was a thing like was 15 the 80s, right? years, yeah, 20 years 90s, ago, like oxygen Woody, bars. Woody Harrelson had like an uh, an O bar. Of like, course this he is, did. Yeah, this was gonna be a thing, and then it went away, and now it's gonna be a thing again. How, yeah. how does that well, work? Now we need it because the air is poison. <laughs> yeah. So we're That's all just true. gonna have to be huffing. Of oh, course, yeah. 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 I love celebrity vanity like hobby projects. Like, doesn't is it Susan Sarandon that has a ping pong bar downtown? 
Wow, I didn't. Sounds right. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I believe it. But. I just couldn't. Get, I couldn't because like the thing that I saw had the mask, and so they're like, use it, and they're like, all the sharks just go like. <laughs> they're yeah. sick of Dennis Hopper. It's Frank Booth. Like, yeah. Mommy, <laughs> mommy, like ugh, yeah. blue ribbon. No, no, it's just too much. I couldn't. I couldn't get it out of my head. Speaking of David Lynch, yeah, yeah. too much. Too I, wow. I just want That's the dark. What's the best made up movie drug for me? It's RoboCop Two. Uh, just the little patches you put on your right, neck. They seem yeah. to be having a good. Oh, yeah. I like like what the the minority report one where mm. it's like the little thing that the you suck inhaler. on and then the little button goes down yeah. that look, it just looks cool oh, yeah. that look you know cool. where you like and then yeah. it goes like it always, fires into your mouth. I'm so curious about death sticks. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to sell a city. Yeah, exactly. Like, what were they? Was that a was that an ironic name? Was yeah, that, I don't know. Yeah. Putting the name death in your drug, it could go either way. It's it got it's way. got cool appeal. It, is, you know, yeah. it sounds dangerous, but maybe people think they're going to die. Yeah. All right, keep going. <laughs> this is our future. At least I won't be the only one with a third nip in the jacuzzi. Meet Douglas Quaid, a man who can't tell fantasy from reality. Like some other Quaid you may know. <laughs> That's Randy Quaid for those of you who don't know. <laughs> He's either a mind wipe super spy with the key to saving Mars in his brain, or a construction worker who married Sharon Stone. So, yes, two equally unlikely options. But when Quaid. Yeah, pause. Dreams, I think they did a good job of keeping it pretty ambiguous whether it was a dream or not. Um, I although, yeah. I, I usually personally hate think, that. I, I think it was a dream. I usually don't Be like that in movies, but I think it works really well here. Yeah. I think it was too. Right. Um, I think as soon as he's getting drowsy at recall, that's where that's where, that's where it, it kicks in. Yeah. Uh, I I I'm inclined to go the other way until the very end. Like the very last shot to me, I feel like is almost too much of a giveaway because he turns there and he goes like, "Oh, I just had a terrible thought. What if this was all a dream?" And then the sun like explode like the the whole screen fades to white from the mm -hmm. sun and i feel like well that's him waking up that's the when you have a dream and then you think about oh i'm in a dream that's the moment that you wake mm -hmm. up and that's what we're seeing is him opening his eyes and the lights yeah. and recall coming on and the dream's over yeah well, but there you go ambiguous you you tell you us you decide maybe yeah. it's yeah. all real like <laughs> they they didn't one thing you would be like should we ask him if he wants the guy's arms to get ripped off like it's really <laughs> gross like dude. and yet do other people who order that scenario also rip off the right, arms that's what i mean like yes. everybody who's going on the mars spy adventure has this bloody of an <laughs> it's adventure it's a pretty gruesome adventure yeah. that's an extremely grim adventure yeah so such big squibs every time i shoot somebody i feel like they would want to prepare you like do you want the PG-13, yeah. it could get pretty gruesome. See, I think it's definitely a dream because there's one point, I think the shot's even in this trailer, where he just karate chops a guy and oh, the yeah, guy's his forehead explodes <laughs> in blood. Well, that's, the other thing is, uh, we, we had this debate behind the scenes of are they using, is these are these future guns? Yeah, these are space are guns. That's why everyone explodes because when they get yeah. shot. the squibs they use in this were like big. four times the size of a convention where they, they rip people's clothes yeah. apart. Mars has lower gravity in their future guns. <laughs> but inside the dome, it would That happens be. in Robo cop too though with the yes. 209 the guy yeah. that gets hit especially in the extended version yeah. his clothes are just flying Verhoeven apart wants guns. bullets ripping you apart yeah. not just people getting shot yeah. yeah all right keep going he dreams of being arnold at his peak dunking on fools after he kills them See at the divorce. See at the party rickshaw. <laughs> so gruesome. Some serious heat. Both kinds of heat. <laughs> what you been feeding this thing? It's just a boner. <laughs> As this Pause. Uh, I think for once, somebody in the comments actually had a good joke. Um, they said we should have just said it's not a tumor. Like that's that's kind of that yeah. kind of fits better than it's it's it, just a boner. It I like it's better, just a boner. I like though. it's just a boner. Okay. Like bona and tuma kind of rhyming in that context yeah. is funny. Well, know? we have about seven hundred outtakes for that, so get yeah. ready for after this. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if a Schwarzenegger when he's ADR has to do like a few minutes of Arnold sounds. Yeah, yeah, just like give us some more Arnold sounds. Just <laughs> struggle. <laughs> Arnold, could you try matching it to what's happening on screen? <laughs> <laughs> ah, okay, okay, better, better. Like, better. Remember that, that Hugh Jackman clip with Wolver with Logan, oh, yeah. where he's like running and like <laughs> <laughs> Arnold's doing that, but he's like, he's <laughs> <laughs> not even watching. It's, it's the real life cigar. It's the real life version ah. of the Up and Adam scene. It's just the person going like, How, how's that? Better. better. Yeah. <laughs> Keep going. Up and at them. Up and at them. Up and at them. 
Wonderland runs from gunfight to gunfight to gunfight to gunfight to gunfight to gunfight. <laughs> so many gunfights. Lovely Melina, a hooker with a heart of I don't know. Yeah. We don't really get to know her that well. Tussle with his wife Lori, a highly skilled crotch assassin. Oh. Oh. I mean, if you were fighting oh. Arnold, that'd be your only shot. Yeah. <laughs> Battle Cohagen. Mars governor who sent Quay to Earth with a false identity, surrounded by actors, waited for him to discover he's someone else, assumed he'll go to Mars searching for vengeance, then befriend a very particular cab driver, and earn the trust of the mutant resistance leader, or none of his evil plan works. Frankly, <laughs> I'm amazed it worked. Yeah, yeah, Cox. Ronnie Cox is amazing. It's Ronnie fantastic. Cox is so good. I mean, just like he's one of those guys from the 80s and 90s particularly he's been good at a lot of different stuff mm -hmm. but like in the 80s and 90s just like oh my god like yeah. Ronnie Cox yeah. and also Michael Ironsides is in that well, yeah I love that Verhoeven uh, has like a troop of actors yeah of any yeah. director with his gang like he's got some of the best yeah it's I, you, there, it's more realistic and like gives your movie more depth when we're, we're very into like relatable villains you know like mm -hmm. Marvel movies it's always gonna be like you can see from the villain's perspective they have a point and I like that there's a lot of 80s movies where they're just like Nah, like he's just like he's just not a bastard. Like he's William, an evil bastard. Like William Atherton used to play in like yeah. Die Hard yeah. and Ghostbusters. Was just like, nope, he's just the worst. Yeah. Like there's no redeeming. You won't feel bad at all yeah. when he falls off this building. Though in Ghostbusters, he had a point, and he's I will a, argue no, that. Exactly. Yeah. He's got, but he's, he's yeah. still like, he is, but he's a jerk about it. He is a jerk about it. But he's got a very compelling. That was enough point. to make you a villain in the eighties. Yeah. yeah, like a, environmentalism. Blech. Yeah, teacher like the the corporate toy store he's owner. With the EPA. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> All right, <laughs> let's keep going. Victor, a goon stuck in middle management, who in one day has to let Wade do his wife, get berated by his boss, and lose both of his arms. Oh, Sheesh. I hope this is all a dream, and Richter's just some guy who's spitting Quaid's drink at a Chili's or something. <laughs> so Space Chili's. Space for a modern yeah. classic Space, action please. film Space that Hunt. influenced yeah. the Matrix with its red pills, reality bending, and firefight with riot cops in a room full of pillars, and influenced Avatar with his double agent who fights for the colonized people, falls in love with one of them, meets their psychic leader, then acts Accidentally leads the bad guys to the rebels' home base. They just ripped off Fern well, Gully. A lot of Avatar, <laughs> but no matter how influential it was, the discerning cinephile will recognize it for what it is—a total ripoff of the greatest sci-fi film ever made, Spaceballs. We've been big on Spaceballs lately. <laughs> uh, Classic. Uh, one of my favorite movies ever made. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it works so good. Yeah, it really works well. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Mega Maid. She's gone from suck to blow. <laughs> Melina wins. Flawless victory. He's really good at that Mortal Kombat Not voice. Job. Yeah. We will deal with your rebel friend soon enough. Richter and Morty. Shredder! Get to the Maid. It's a Gucci Man joke. It. Forget about it. Google Drive. And a pair and a spare. <laughs> Mars Hard. He's named that the Die Hard. Yeah, we have driverless so, cars, but they still talk to you. This is a dystopia. Yeah. Well, Oof. Yeah. It yeah. should be a setting on the all the apps. Don't talk to me. Just yeah. Why would you make Johnny Cab? There's nobody likes that. Nobody <laughs> yeah. wants to do banter with no. their driver. You no. would never invent that. Oh, hello. Yeah. Oh. It's, it's not a thing. It's what if we thing. have a cab driver, but he does bits all the time? <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, oh no. no. It's like taking a, well any Uber in Los Angeles. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But that's like why that's what we want to get rid of. Right. That's, yeah. that's, the, that's what they need to fix. Yeah. John, Johnny Cab, want to hear my mixtape? Oh, <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, that oh, happened. Do you like me. the music? That happened to me. <laughs> I was, it's happened to everyone. Everybody 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 said, I was like, anyone in LA, hey, do you like this song? And I'm like, yeah, it's pretty good. He's like, do you know who it is? And I was like, I know yeah. the answer to this question is <laughs> who? It's me. I, oh. I had a guy put on like a radio, like a Travis Scott song or something, like a radio song. It was like, you like this? And I was like, sure. It's like, I'm like, try to be nice. <clears throat> and he's like, oh, well, if you like that, you'll like this. And then he put on his <laughs> own oh. song. He made it seem like, like it was your choice. Yeah, he made it seem like it was my idea. He's gaslit like, you into oh, thinking that you wanted to hear his music. This is like, I gotta, now I have to buy, uh, now I can, I'm gonna spend $12 on your LP. Unbelievable. That was crazy. Uh, I felt but, really toyed with. <laughs> Let's watch the <laughs> deleted scenes from our own trailer for Total Recall. Oh well, if this is our future, at least I won't be the only one with a third nip in the jacuzzi. See, we did it. We worked in a three boot lady <laughs> reference right up top. They clearly worked hard on that third pube, and we don't want you to wait for it. Yep. Both kinds of heat. What you been feeding this thing? 
That's my sack. Hasta la penis, baby. Touch my schwanz if you want to leave. <laughs> I highly skilled quatch assassin. <laughs> Ooh, right in the stones. Uh, hmm. I'll bust his balls. Too late. <laughs> and fight Richter, a literal cuck. <laughs> and fight Richter. <laughs> <laughs> Did we say that? I'm gone? Are we allowed to say that? <laughs> Everyone else on the internet is. Yeah, we're allowed, that's a good point. That's a good we're point. allowed to say cuck. I mean, isn't that the definition? Like a that man is, yeah, that is somebody else sleep with what your wife? That means. Yes. yes. He's watching another man with his wife. Yes. Okay. That's, that's, that's the, the literal definition of there that word. You, you look up the dictionary for cuck, it's Richter. Technically space cuck, space. but yes, he's a space cuck. <laughs> Please. Space. Space cuck. Space. Space. Yeah, right, anyway, space. Space. sorry, keep going. A goon so bumbling. Boomer should be posting Richter memes on Facebook. Yeah, he sucks. Starring. <laughs> it's not a future. Get to the reactor. Forget me shots. The Quaid. Redemption. Hauser of a Thousand oh, Corpses. Yeah. American Hauser Story. Wow. Does this guy look like a Doug to you? Yeah, his name's Doug. One man Arnie. <laughs> Creepily accurate animatronic Arnold. Ooh. Ouch. Yeah. <laughs> Sharon, right in the stones. Yeah. Wow, oh, we did two versions of that. <laughs> yeah, lots. <laughs> a very wrong engagement. My wife. <laughs> the stone. Romancing the stone. Like my Mars wife. And the real girl. Yeah. I just met a girl named Melina. <laughs> I rebel. It is a Thuma. <laughs> I wanna hold your hand. <laughs> Up, Chucky. Foda. Boss, baby. Leading with your gut. The oh, tummy two, returns. A lot of these. And twigs. <laughs> oh, man. And How do we know? Okay, one well, excellent. Uh, confusing yeah. young boys about sex before internet porn. <laughs> Old three boob. Three's memory. President's groove. Cohagen with Mr. Richter. Iron side That's piece. Horrible. The Richter yep. fail. White boy Richter. <laughs> Uncle Tom's cab. Daniel wrote that. Just <laughs> <Whoa. laughs> Holy shit. Oh, sorry. And did you know <laughs> David Cronenberg worked now. on this movie for years? Yeah. Mars attack. Red planet heat. Mm -hmm. Ziggy stardust memories. Okay. Memoirs of an invulnerable man. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The air down there. You, had, you made Robert Remember make all the of It's yeah. Forgot about Quake. <laughs> That's probably why on vacation. Jeez. <laughs> I didn't know. Uh, this is an implant. When he wakes up, does he just go back to his wife like he doesn't remember shooting her in the head? Awkward. <clears throat> well, there you go. Big thank yes. you to Robert Holpe for Making indulging all us. Those graphics, I forgot yeah. to pare it down before it was sent to our graphics person, who mm -hmm. then, I guess, had to do Just like made like 20 them. versions of it, but they yeah. were all apparently, funny. Apparently, at the last minute, because he emailed me on Sunday saying, like, hey, do you have the graphics? Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Uh, See, you leave, Sorry, Dan, you leave, and everything leave, falls leave. apart. <laughs> Schmo down. What's, what's Come a schmo down? I guess we'll have to watch him. Catch it this Friday. Yeah. 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 Live uh, from Orlando. Now live. Recorded so, our recorded. tape from Orlando. Uh, yes. From Orlando, yeah. You people have had some thoughts you and feelings. You people. Well, um, the, 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 there's the Hank Schrader thing. Yeah. A, a lot, lot of, of comments people. about, uh, uh, yes. And yeah. we did know that. We that, just forgot jokes, to put it in. Right. We just didn't yeah. include any of the jokes. Yeah. Like, if they're Martian Minerals Marie, I yeah. think it was one of them. Ballsack Schrader. And that would have been a Ballsack Schrader. Ballsack Schrader's not bad, yeah. Yeah. I was just saying, it's interesting. I would have just called him Hong. His face is all messed up. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, he he's was... also got a bit part in uh, Terminator 2, Dean he Norris. And, he's... and we pointed him out in the T2 Honest trailer, which yes. may be why uh, oh, people were so uh, right. off put that we did not. Right. Because uh, he's a in all these. Part in this movie. Yes, Hank, he's in all these old. Hank from Breaking movies. Bad is yeah. indeed in the film. I hope you're happy. After Dean Norris. Um, yes, Dean Norris. Norris. Andrew Blanchard writes, fun fact, the original line of Richter's henchman, Morty, was, I'm sure she hated every inch of it. <laughs> so, Dude. She's, I, I'm, sure, I'm sure she hated every minute of it, yeah. I think, is the line that made it in. Mm. But, uh, again, it's not the bona. Or it's just the bona. It's the bona. So, is the idea that Paul Verhoeven showed, like, good taste in yes. things like, that's too far. Yeah. No. But he does have a line. <laughs> um, Ademir Segura writes, when will you make one for Starship Troopers? I mean, I would love to, but, like... This is actually like one, I, I think the movie's brilliant, but it's also on the surface so dumb, so it's like, it's really hard for me to think of like what the angle is. Because you could just roast it like. Like it's not sort of self-aware. Yeah, like right. it doesn't know what it's doing. Yeah. 
I just think it is. I don't know. It's fair. That, th- these it's a are, challenge. These are tough balances because the movies are already, you know, they're very smart and they're, they're self-aware. And, like, that's what we're kind of doing is, yeah. like, yeah. picking apart things that aren't already self-aware. Right. Yeah. Um, and Darth Keck writes, you forgot Richter had to see his wife get nailed, get chewed out by his boss, then got widowed before he oh, lost, right. lost his arms yeah. Yeah. to the man who shot his wife in the skull. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good point. Yeah. Is that he and boned her. And yeah. he boned her and yeah. then shot her in yeah. the head and then that's, took your arms was all that in one the day. ultimate cucking? Yeah, that's, yeah, that's, a, uh, that's I don't a, think it could happen worse than that. That's a no. pretty bad betrayal. Somebody yeah. both sleeps with your wife and then murders your wife. And then, so you then never sleep with her again. Like, oh man, it takes your arms. Salting the your arms. So you can't cooking. even get any relief on your own <laughs> oh, with just... your non, with your not, with your dead. I mean, I think Richter, I mean, Richter dies. You know. he's, he's not no, living. He's, with he's, a... he's alive at the bottom of that. That thing really? doesn't go up that high. It's a, oh, that's a lot know. of that's a lot of physical trauma. I don't, I don't know. know. It's a, it's a well, magic if it's pyramid. A, if it's fine. a dream, it's then dream. Nothing, none of it's real. I'll wake up back at Space Chili's. No, he's not asleep. He's in Schwarzenegger's dream. He would just be at Space Chili's. Good point. All right. Well, any more deep thoughts and feelings about Total Recall 1990? No. I just want now I'm hungry for Space Chili. It's a fun movie. Uh, let's go to Space Chili's. Watch Space Balls. Uh, watch Space Balls. Yeah, that's still good. If we leave you with one thought, watch Space Balls. Check that out. Mm-hmm. And um, I'm told that Dan has a very special clue for what next week's Honest Trailer will be. Well, it's tough because it's it's an easy one to overlook, but you don't want to. So mm-hmm. Yeah, that's, that's a good point. Yeah. yeah. So maybe I shouldn't give one. Yeah. yeah. Well, there you go. There you go. That's good. Very, very nicely done, Dan. All right. We'll see you right here. Same time, same place on Australia Commentaries. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.